Hello everyone and welcome back to SimCity and welcome back to Urban Design Lodge Community Project. We have a couple of other YouTubers around here. We have um, uh, SimCity Brian. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's Big Toaster. Hello. Sad. Hello. Yuto. Hello. Flux. Hello. And have I forgot someone? Conrad. <laughs> Conrad. <laughs> uh, Joe right. was here too, right? Oh, no, he left. He left. Joe left, left already. Oh, he did? Yeah, Joe's, Joe left a long time ago. Oh. He left like oh, I thought two episodes ago. He left two episodes ago. <laughs> two whole episodes ago. It's been like days, guys. What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Awesome. We are back finally. I get Not back really finally. Building it's been like five minutes. How <laughs> <laughs> cold is your city, Aruga? Is going well. Plateau city. Aruga, tell me how's your oil importation going? Slow. <laughs> Slow? Okay, but it's happening. <laughs> it's happening. Um, I also. Uh, oh. There's also a couple of uh, oil on their way to our uh, construction site over there. Of our yeah, I, I can see you already sent 8,000. So that's that's great. Yeah, I tried to keep it up. Aruga. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm almost there to start my first shipment of metal and alloy. So that'll be good. Also, uh, did you do recycling uh, center by any chance? Um, I think I can add, yeah, a single recycling center or so. I have yeah. enough cash flow. Okay. Should be possible. Okay, because now I'm in the green, because I was in the red a couple of minutes ago, because most of the buildings in my city were upgrading. But I think I can do recycling now. But if you can do it and it's easier on your part, better, because that will like mess up with my economy a little bit. <laughs> so. Man, I got like the most unfortunate placement of ore ever because I'm trying to find a place to put my refineries now or my whatever you call these things, smelting factories. And I have like no room in my city anymore. I don't even know what to do. Hmm. Uh, I like what I you did, Ruto. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. I was just going to say, I think our great work is getting closer to being done now. We just need the Dang, that's oil. Holy crap. <laughs> well, not really. It's more that we just don't have anything coming from fuel yet, which we... Still oh. need. Almost everything's come from Brian right now. <laughs> and the traffic is backed up very bad going into the great work. So it's taken yeah. a long time. Is it? Oh, I, I can't really see yeah, it. Yeah, me too. Idea. There's a there's a huge line on, on our outside of our airport for some reason. Hmm. But yeah, Ruga. I like your road system. It's so cool. Thanks a lot. It was a lot of work. Yeah, the ramps and the center where you raise the circle, it, looks, oh, look. it, it gives it like some 3D characteristics of it. It just pokes out. 3D is in city? That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, terraforming. <laughs> You're, when you zoom out, it kind of looks like a, uh, a speaker or Mickey Mouse, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Disneyland! <laughs> Ooh, yeah, put up some theme parks. Ooh, that'd be fun. Yeah. Those are a lot of fun to build. Once you, well, if you want to, or if you have it. That's pretty crazy. Uh, can I ask you something? Now. Is it is it cheaper to get a uh, large fire station with a hazmat team, or just let the thing burn and rebuild it, like bulldoze and have it grow again? When, it, when you get a, has, um, a hazmat fire? Hazmat I think is expensive to maintain. It is, but I don't think it's a good idea to let them burn and just destroy them and rebuild them. Uh, yeah, because yeah. hazmats explode and they affect yeah, they other and they buildings. Plus I think they it all carry when they blow up. 
I actually don't know if it actually does anything that bad though, besides just, I mean, the blowing up thing, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's like s severe enough to... The scary factor. I mean, I built the hazmat, but the hazmat, the, or the fire stations in general, and the and the hospitals are so ridiculously expensive. Um, I don't know if it's worth it or not. Yeah. And only if effective if you don't have traffic, I guess, for your trucks uh, to get yeah. there. Ah, uh, that, that bug didn't fix. I still have that swamp. That's too bad. Yeah, I saw on Reddit, too, where the guy had the same issue on your same plot. Oh, like, of course. Yeah. I really hope that it gets fixed sometime, because I don't like having a swamp. Are you boys having any issues with your residents? Say, for instance, I've got a tower here, and it's got a little description called Westick, we need a doctor, when I've got a fully upgraded hospital. Hmm. I have not seen that before. I'm getting that quite often. And also, we're sick, we need a doctor, and uh, what's the other one? There's no shopping around here, and I've got plenty of shops around everywhere. Oh, I hate everywhere. that. Yeah, that happened to me just a minute ago. I had, I had someone right so next to So frustrating. Yeah, like right next uh, to a commercial spot, and he's like, I can't find anywhere to shop. And he leaves. Exactly. So, exactly. So when the ecology is done, would you and me, Conrad, have to convert to commercial and in industry? Is that what um, to... Not necessarily convert, but um, I've never had any issues with the arcology where we had to, con I've had to convert. And one thing that I have realized is that your tourism is boosted quite fundamentally and um, also all your commercial buildings get a lot more profit because you get a lot more visitors going through your city. So is, tourism wise is better than an airport? From what I've played around with, yes. If there is one of the great works which is most advantageous, it's the archaeology. It gives you the most benefit out of all of them uh, from my personal game playthrough since the game has come out and I've tested and played around with all the um, Great works, yeah. The archaeology is definitely by far the best to have. I agree too. Mm. Space Center would be second. You know, it, it boosts the tech level without actually having to have colleges and universities if you're so, into that. In your whole quad, you wouldn't need those universities anymore. You just have the Space Center. That's correct. Oh, that's cool. Hmm, I'm getting issues with not, not having enough high wealth shoppers, even though I have tons of high wealth everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, see, there's little things like that which constantly frustrate me because <laughs> these people are constantly not happy because of something when they have it right there, right there for them, and then the place goes abandoned. Ugh, just non-stop, just constantly fixing. All right, demolish this building, regrow again. Everything's fine. Oh, we can't find any shops. Oh, boom, gone. <laughs> and the process just keeps going in this vicious circle. Oh, I just realized this whole time I haven't had any more than two garbage trucks, so I've had like no garbage collection and everyone's all mad. <laughs> I, they weren't, I wasn't seeing the icon at all. It wasn't red or anything. It's too bad. Work on that now. It's nice when your city is uh, running well and you don't get a lot of those abandonments. Yeah. It doesn't yes. always happen. Mm -hmm. So you're still at the 95% approval rating? Brian, because you unlocked, uh, like, the whole mansion, I think. Yeah, I'm at 94% right now. Wow. Nice. I'm at 75. I'm still at the 75s. Yeah. Oh, God. My high wealth buildings have no shoppers. Huh. I'm lazy to fix it right now. I'm just waiting on the arcology. When the arcology builds, I want to definitely see how your city handles the traffic going through that. <laughs> <laughs> how it, it produces a lot of traffic? I never seen an arcology in well, action before. The arcology once one it's in game. once it's completed, I think it has close to uh, I can't remember Brian how much over a million people or uh, close to two. God, dang. I think it's close to two. Yeah, close to two million. <laughs> so be prepared. <laughs> <laughs> well, I Good thing I'm here then with this. Or, yeah. Hmm. I just now realized that the uh, that the School of Medicine not only uh, lets you obviously unlock the 
medical stuff, but you can also, it like reduces the, the chance of people getting sick. I, I didn't know that. Yeah. I thought it was just unlocked stuff. That's cool. You tell you oh, don't no. have a university in your region, do you, by any chance? No, I removed it. Okay, uh, excellent. Like I have the School of Law, which helps with uh, crime, and I have a uh, School of Science that actually uh, helps uh, boost tech levels, which with the Space Center, I won't need that anymore. Right. Yeah, I just oh, added all those on now. Those are helping out. My helicopters are not working for some reason. I think... Well, there you guys were able to build the airport, uh, Aruga and Strict, so I don't know. Because Brian just told me, like, you need the airport, like, on or in the region for the helicopters to work. We're, we're not, we're not close to, we're not even close to being finished with the airport. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the construction started, but it's going to take several hours of gameplay. Yeah, I know. But just, you like, mean a helicopters small one, like a police station the and fire helicopters? That? Yeah, yeah no, my, all you need is like a um, small in, inside your city airport, that's all. Oh, in, my, in the city or not in the region? Oh, any, any city. As long as there's one person in, with a city that has like an airport, then the actual air, air support features on like the uh, police station and fire services become unlocked. Well, Tamohan has one right here, but I don't know if it's on or not. I'm going to visit it. They should be on from what I've last seen. I hope so. Because I have some buildings burning down and the helicopters are not doing anything. Yeah, I quite often get my police station um, where the helicopter goes up, but then already the crime has been taken care of and it goes just back down. <laughs> yeah, that's why I don't use the police helicopters, because the, the cop cars respawn faster. Oh, so Strickton, I noticed a weird glitch the other day with the uh, police station. Um, the police station itself raises land value, but the jails attached to it lower it, but they huh. still show up green on the um, the wealth uh, map, uh, oh, the land value map. That's interesting. Really interesting that they would do that, though. Well, they probably mixed up a little bit. I mean, I guess they probably have the... The highlights attached to just the building itself, not the different modules. So the um, jails would be adopting the positive land value attribute. But they separately have the lower land value attribute. Where is my okay, package? so... Yeah, Tamahan's uh, airport is closed because it doesn't have water. It so doesn't have water. Oh, his road is not connected. What's that? What did he do to his city? <laughs> it's like all gone. <laughs> or it's just not connected somehow. I don't know what's happening. Who is this that's missing a city or? Tamahan. Tamahan. Like, he had half his city all, all like all like developed and then he just destroyed half of it. I don't know what happened. Mm. Is he have, um... have buying electricity from me because he's got no electricity yeah he's buying it from me okay that's why i have so much excess i have a big big problem the airport is generating this massive gridlock and now it's reaching my city so it's it's basically all collapsed and no cars can get in or out of my city it's like i don't have an entrance anymore <laughs> <laughs> it's like the the airport or Great Works haven't adopted the update seven traffic thing yet. Yeah, <laughs> but also I don't get why all these cars are going to the airport. Like it's closed, people. <laughs> they just want to go yeah, look. No. Construction just workers. Just want to go look. Yeah, but the construction yeah, but like, begins really? after. Oh so. yeah, that's true. Government red <laughs> tape. <laughs> so far, I was only able to send ninety tons of alloy of the 1500 and only 60 tons of metal and i don't know if that's a bit of aruga's work too yeah i've sent a bit metal over to the great work mm. tvs have officially passed halfway nice yeah 36k 
Yep. <laughs> I'm slow on the alloy. I'm pushing well, the alloy yeah, as well. My alloy is like all full. It's just the traffic jam that's uh, causing the slow trade. And plus, I'm looking at everybody's city, so it's probably not updating as fast. Huh. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm gonna yeah, look at Zat's new uh, design for the highway. Yeah, if you yes. visit, if you visit another city, you're you're uh, exporting or transferring to the great work pauses. Yeah, that'd be nice if it would stay. If you're like, as long as you're in the region, but I don't think it does. Same with city, like your city pauses altogether. I guess I should stop looking at people's cities. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I'm looking like at Sats that. right now. Yeah, it's working a little bit better. It still gets packs during rush hour, but it clears up after rush hour. I'm sorry, you've done that. That's sick. Yeah, that will work really well. Hmm? Oh, you're in it too? Yeah. Everyone exiting now has to take a right turn. Oh no. Yeah, left turn and a right turn to get into the city. There you go. Yeah, unfortunately people leaving have to take a left, which crowds it a bit, but not as much as the people coming in. So if I'm trying to export my alloy to the space center, <laughs> would I set it to use locally or export? Use locally. Use locally. Use locally. Okay, that's what I thought. Just want to make sure. I haven't done a whole lot of great works so i usually end up building my cities too fast and then it's not like sure time, are you, you guys know? sure about that because i'm exporting it and it's uh as long as i have someone uh like some enterprise consuming the resource in my city then it will send it there but after let's say the the smelting factory storage is full it will start exporting it and i'll be making money mm -hmm. you know you know what i mean yeah yeah i think i did that in, in a previous city, and it was working the same way. It's probably that's what I'm doing right now. Wait, it seems to be working. I forgot what you said. <laughs> so you're saying that you're exporting it, and it's sending it to the great work and making you money? Uh, no. So I have uh, the option to export it, but first it's sending it to the smelting factory or whatever I need to, you know, fulfill inside of my city, and then whatever's left. If, if you have uh, your tree depot has uh, metal or whatever raw ore in your uh, storage, then we'll export that unless you need it inside. So let's say, let, let's give you, let, let me give you a easier example. If you have a coal power plant in your city, it will mm -hmm. send coal first to your power plant and then it will export uh, whatever's uh, left. Hmm. Okay. Coal first and export with stuff. Okay, I see what you mean. That makes sense. The highway interchange is a bit of a silly thing that they've done. How they've only made it from a three-lane exit into a two-lane exit. Like, yeah. I think the ramp which crosses over the highway, which turns left, I think that should remain as a two-laner. Mm -hmm. And then have the one Wait, are you talking about those right. T-junctions uh, in, into Zat City or something? Like that? Yes, Yeah, exactly. essentially anyone leaving or entering the city has one lane to go through. And yeah. it's bold. Th that interchange right there, it's the actual highway interchange, which is bottlenecking his city. Mm -hmm. I also think it is kind of ridiculous how they have a three lane highway going into your city, even if it's like straight going in, like it is for me, not like a not like a T junction, uh, because it just makes like a random intersection and makes a merge down from three to three again. But it's like it, I don't know, it's hard to describe, but the highway is like a larger yeah. size. Yeah, those makes intersections intersection. don't really do too much to the traffic, but sometimes just, just people like doing U-turns and things there. Yeah, it creates a U-turn point for the... Uh, I scenes. actually guess I, I thought it was four originally, I guess it's only three lane, but still it's kind of weird how they make it a different yeah. type of road and it makes well, it weird certain looking certain mods, you can draw highways in your city. <laughs> just ask Prox. Just ask Prox, yeah. If only he was here. I thought about that. What okay, is now coolest... I'm looking both lanes of my highway. Oh, wait, what are you doing? Yeah, so uh, the lane that goes through the airport is totally gridlock, and now the lane coming back from the airport is also gridlock because no one can get into my city. Hmm. Oh, you got rid of the circle roundabout. Yeah, because it was just a mess. I'm a look. But it's pretty Are you going to change your city name back to like strict something? 
Uh, maybe. I haven't thought of that. I've been <laughs> busy doing other things, but uh, yeah, maybe. Why not? I don't know what I should call it. A strict overlook. A strict overlook. <laughs> um, actually, how, how are we doing uh, population-wise? 1,081,000. Wow. Region. That's nice. Are you guys getting the same number? Yeah, uh, I've seen 82,000. 1,066,000. 1,078,000, so it's all close. Yeah, what about yeah. that? Yeah. So I win. <laughs> I have 82,000, 82, just saying. Good, okay. You won. So strict. What you can do is do the same thing what Zat did, is uh, have it, have that avenue um, go over the main highway or main avenue and then reconnect onto the right side. Oh, uh, wait, what, what What do you mean exactly? You look at mine for an example. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm going to go your seated real quick. We're, we're getting close to our time, guys, though. So. Yeah, we're I'm about gonna, 20 minutes in now. I'm going to pay a real quick visit to Satan with three T's. <laughs> or the reasons he explained in the previous Zatan. episode. Say it with the Zatan. French accent. Zatan. 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 <laughs> ho, 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 ho. Do they speak uh, French in British Columbia? Uh, not really. I mean, it is still official language over here, but... It's on all the food packaging. <laughs> um, so basically, what, what are you saying, you two? Just have, uh... Like what? Like a long stretch of avenue without intersections? No, if you look cool. at my city entrance, the my main road is um, going over the other main yeah. road. And it curves back. Yeah, yeah. so every, everyone coming into the city takes a right turn instead of taking a left, which makes oh, interesting. less of a backup for going in. But it's causing okay. a bit of a backup going out. because no. It's okay, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a try. But yeah, this, is, this, is, this looks good. I don't know if I have enough room for that, but... It does clear up my um, streetcars, though, since they take a different route completely. Okay, I want to play with that real quick. I'm really tempted or to have... Or maybe in the next episode. I don't know. What do you guys think? Huh? What? Yeah, we're probably oh, getting continue. pretty close. Yeah, let's wrap it up. Okay. Aruga? Okay. Okay. Give us an outro. Uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> yes, subscribe, subscribe and like and whatever. Check out everyone else's like channel. Bye. All right, see you guys. Bye. <laughs>